Hello friends, welcome back once again. Let's start again our calculus portion. Uh, I got a few mails and few messages to work more on the limit problems. So here I'm going from simple problems to the complex problem. All right, that will give you really a very good concept while evaluating the limits. Okay, so here is a very simple problem of finding out uh, or simply evaluating the limit from this simple problem we'll be trying to solve a more complex problem right and I want you to be the perfect in finding the limits of any kinds of problem right and if you have any problems you can uh, send me also you can mail me also uh, I will try to help you uh, once I'll get free times all right so let's just start now here the question is limit x tends to 0 sine ax over the bx right now here in this problem if you just put the value of s x I mean if you simply plug the value of x here right sine a x over the b x it is so you'll get sine 0 that will be 0 again and b times x that is 0 again so 0 over the 0 you'll get so you know 0 over 0 is some undefined value you cannot determine the value of this so this is not the way to evaluate the limit right for this we have some uh, spatial results we have already discussed about them and I hope that you know this still and here we use some standard results some standard formula that is limit when angle certain angle theta is certain angle right angle tends to zero then sine of the angle over that angle is always equal to one right limit when theta tends to zero sine theta over the theta equals to one I mean angle whenever it tends to zero then the sine of the angle over the angle is always one so we need to use this standard form here that only we can uh, solve this uh, nicely and uh, we can get the uh, real value of this right so how to solve that problem look at this here our angle is here ax but in the denominator we don't have the ax but we have x here is the b as an enemy we need to remove this we need to separate it right so same thing I'm doing here limit right x tends to 0 sine of angle that is ax over the c x is useful for us so I'm putting here x but this b is not useful so let me put it this constant b is a constant separately right that's okay now in next step what I'm going to do see here uh, limit x tends to 0 sine ax over the x right since this is 1 by b is a constant so I can take out outside also or I can put simply a little bit separately also right that's not the matter but you know our angle here is ax right so I also need the denominator as ax so what I can do here I can divide by the a and again I can multiply by the a right now see here we are getting some standard result here sine of angle over the angle right but one more problem is there I told you that when angle tends to 0 so here x tends to 0 but not the ax tends to 0 is here so what we need to tell you here that I want to tell you here when x tends to 0 you know automatically the ax tends to 0 right what's the problem right when x tends to 0 automatic whatever you multiply you 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 are multiplying by the a or b or h or c or t or whatever you multiply that automatically will be 0 right so now what I'm writing here uh, I'm putting this a and b is a constant so let me put this first here a over the b let me put outside okay now I'm left with the solely limit see I already told you when x tends to 0 ax can be 0 it, it always tends to 0 so I'm now I'm writing ax tends to 0 and now sine ax right sine ax over the ax I'm going to say now here limit this whole my angle my angle ax tends to 0 sine angle over the angle right can't you see this is exactly like this right when uh, limit when angle tends to 0 sine angle over the angle equals to 1 so here again uh, limit angles tends to 0 sine angle over the angle equals to that should be 1 right so here 1 over the b times 1 and finally I got the answer a over the b that's my answer that's the limit I need to find out right so like this you need to find out uh, any kinds of problem whenever you get right especially I'm talking here 
about the trigonometric function whenever you get the trigonometric functions uh, to evaluate the limit then you use the standard form for the sign if the function or the, if the expression is in the form of the sign then you use this formula and if the expression is in the form limit theta tends to zero if that is cos theta so in the place of cos theta directly you can put one because when you put theta tends to zero then cos zero is actually one right and again limit if the function or the, uh, the expression is found of tan then when theta tends to zero then simply put if if you get tan theta over the theta then you can simply use the standard result this one tan theta over the theta equals to one and limit theta tends to zero cos theta equals to one right depending on the expression sometimes you have to use the sine theta over the theta cos theta or tan theta over the theta depends on the situation and we'll be doing a lot of problem uh, this is uh, a simple and a little bit uh, complex I'm doing in the next video all right so we'll be meeting in the next video watch keeping uh, keep on watching all right so I hope if you like the videos uh, definitely please subscribe me I'll get more motivated and I can make more more videos all right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye